So King of the Hammers is like a 10 hour car wreck. I mean, you're just getting beat all day long. Only 10% of the people out there even finish the race. So you really have to be in good physical shape. I had no motorsports experience. I'd never raced before and tried King of the Hammers back in 2009 to see if it was something I was interested in and built a super budget race car. Uh, Jimmy's 4x4 built it for me. And we went out and won King of the Hammers the next year with no racing experience, no pre-running, nothing. It's really gone out of control since then. Between having a family and a full-time job and trying to stay on top of working on race cars, it, it's definitely tough. Uh, I have a, a great family that allows me to do it, great guys that help me work on the race cars, and then I have a really cool company that I work for that allows me to uh, be out racing. If you're willing to work hard and put in the time, then you can do anything you set your mind to. I mean, we came for nothing. I literally took a second mortgage on my house with no money to, to build a race car. I know it sounds so stupid, and I wouldn't tell anybody else to, to go do that, but I knew in my head I could do it. When hockey came to this area, I was really excited to play and had the opportunity to go to college to play at the uh, University of Scranton. I had the opportunity to watch some local rock crawls, and uh, after getting hurt as a junior, I decided kind of to hang it up. So that turned into competitive rock crawling. Before I knew it, I was headed west to race King of the Hammers. When I went to school, I actually was um, going away to study to be a physician. I have three older brothers, they're all doctors. Um, my father's a physician, and so that was kind of the path I had taken. You know, when I was in high school, I shadowed him, but I, I just didn't have the love for that that I did for off-road, and, and I kind of called him up at the end of the first semester and said, hey, I want to pursue a career in off-road. I want to start a shop. I want to study marketing and build a race team. And he said, well, then why are you wasting your time studying biology? Obviously, you could probably make more money being a physician, you know? That's what society says is a, a career of stature, not going off-road racing. Um, but, you know, I've put everything that I have into this sport, all my blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, we've come a long way doing it. And I think there's uh, a long way for us to go, so I'm pretty excited about the future. I'm Shannon Campbell. I build Ultra 4 cars and race them for a living. Ever since I was a little kid and my dad raced off-road when I was younger and all I ever wanted to do was drive something and rip it and have fun. And I remember going to a guy when I was younger before I even had anything and he told me, well, if you ain't got this much money, you ain't gonna be able to do it. And I went home and just started working on things because I didn't have nothing. I just, I think it's just hard work and if you want something bad enough, you'll figure out how to get it. And I've been in the off-road community since probably right out of high school which is a long time, and uh, I just got into it by playing with friends out in the desert, and next thing you know, they turned four-wheeling into a competition, and I was right in the middle of it. My kids were in it the race last year, and Bailey was in the car for 17 hours, so you got sections where you're doing 130 miles an hour, you got lake beds, you got treacherous canyons and stuff. Um, it's probably the gnarliest type of racing around. My best competitor, you know, usually you'd think he'd be my worst enemy, but we're all good friends and we help each other out. And if you're not racing against the best and they don't have the right equipment to do it, you try and help them. And you know, it's all about growing the sport and, and just learning different things. All of us were friends before we started racing. I met Shannon at a competition before I even wanted to be a race car driver. He's one of my idols and he's always in my head whenever we're racing, for sure. Even though I'm blind and can't see out of one eye and can't hear out of one ear. And <laughs> I mean, he's got me on the age thing, but I still think I can take him. I beat him every race for the last two years, so what's gonna stop now? Eric Miller's another good contender. He usually has a good prep and he's one of the guys to beat. He's a young kid, he takes good care of his physical body, and he's also kind of got that I'll do anything to win mentality. So I heard Lauren can't even decide what car to race this year. He's got an IFS car that he's been killing it in, and now he's building a straight axle, so it's like, what's he gonna race? Who knows, but either way, he's gonna be in my rear view, so. No matter what we do or what we run into or how hard it gets, it's all just kind of part of the journey.